Worst argument that I ever saw between a husband and wife, I was sitting in the back seat of their car, their new car, and the wife touches the dashboard. Immediately, he practically flies out of his seat, starts yelling, and uh, because she left a fingerprint <laughs> on the dashboard of the car. And then, you know, they realized that I was in the car in a split second and then calmed down. But I could see, oh boy, there is real problems ahead unless they change. Well, in what way do they need to change? When people put possessions before people, it is uh, a sad path to go down. But when we put love first in our life of God, then the possessions take second or third or fourth place, and that's okay. It says in the Bible, seek first God, and all these things shall be added to you. You don't have to make a God of possessions. They, they will never give you back the kind of love and attention that you give to them. Possessions get old, possessions wear out, possessions will get you every time. In 1 John 2, verse 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of God is not in him. It's not that God doesn't love them the way they are. It's just that they are, in a way, in a portion, shutting God out by making other gods in their life. Now, all of us are a little bit in love with our stuff. Or maybe we're a whole lot in love with our stuff and in our pursuit of stuff and possessions, but in the end, it will leave you feeling empty. Know the painful truth that stuff will not ever love you back. There have been so many times where I've prayed to get something. Then I've had it for a while, and I prayed to get out of having that something. Have you ever owned a boat? <laughs> it's that way. It's a lot of fun at first until the maintenance comes. Material goods are not nearly as important as sometimes we make them out to be. Thing is, when you seek first God, you'll have things come to you automatically. Also, the way to take care of those things. Of course, we all need the basic necessities of life. However, once we meet those needs for ourselves and for our families, the piling up of possession often creates more problems than it solves. I talk at my prosperity seminar about a big growth industry in America. It's storage units. People have storage units bigger sometimes than my own first apartment that I lived in. And here in Houston, Texas, where this comes from, I'm not making this up. We have air-conditioned and heated storage units because even though we haven't seen our stuff in years, we want to, it to know that we care for it and love it. <laughs> and I often say, if you haven't dealt with something in over a year, maybe it's time to get rid of it. Possessions tend to possess you. How much better it is to be possessed by God, how much better it is to be infilled with God, then you'll find that things just naturally come to you. You won't have to be constantly stressing and striving for them. Martin Luther observed this. He said, many things I've tried to grasp and have lost. <laughs> well, we do. We try to grasp it, and we just can't hold on to it because it deteriorates or rusts or, or just 
has to be thrown away in time. And then he went on. He said, that which I have placed in God's hands, I still possess. Although our earthly treasures are transitory, we can store up spiritual riches that will last forever.